Hi, I'm Sarah Giles. I write chapter books for kids. I have a job where I write business reports and I'm also the mom of two middle graders. But in my free time and the very early hours of the morning, I love to write and I love to write books for kids. I'm coming to you all the way from the state of Washington, just west of the Cascade Mountains. Here's a picture of what it looks like. Well, in the summertime at least. The Me Map lesson is all about the outside things and inside things that make us who we are. Before we get started on the lesson, I wanna see if you can tell a little bit about me just by having a look around my office. There are a couple of clues to who some of my favorite book characters are. For any college sports fans watching, there's a clue about where I went to college. But these are all outside things about me. There are also inside things like feelings, skills, and traits that make me who I am too. One example, you might not be able to tell just by looking at me, but I can be a little shy. So sometimes getting up to talk in front of a group or even into a video camera can be a little hard for me. And while I don't wear this feeling on the outside all the time for the whole world to see, it's still a part of me and it still shapes the way that I do things. So the Me Map lesson is your chance to think about all of your outside and inside things and bring them all together in a collection called a Me Map. And now on to the lesson. But before we get started, I have a little homework for you to do. Oh, don't worry, it's totally easy. All you have to do for this assignment is find the meanings of three new terms. These terms will be in the reading in just a moment, so it's important that you know what they mean. The first term is water bear, which is also called a tardigrade. The second term is yurt. And the third term, is booyah base. A water bear is an eight-legged micro animal with a segmented body that lives in water and can survive in a variety of harsh conditions that other animals cannot. Tardigrades are so small you need an electron microscope to see them. How nice of this one to pose and smile for the photo. A yurt is a circular tent first used hundreds of years ago by traveling nomads in Central Asia. Today, the term also includes modern one-room homes. Buya base is a traditional seafood stew that was first created in Marseille, a city on the coast of France. Okay, great, you completed the homework. Now that you know the meanings of these three words, we can move on. Let's get back to the lesson. A me map is a collection of some of the external or outside things and internal or inside things that make us who we are. So why do a me map? Well, it's a great way to understand more about yourself. Why is this important? Well, do you remember how I told you that I get really nervous speaking in front of people? Once I realize that this is part of me, I use my brain to figure out how to deal with my feelings and still get to do awesome fun things like visit your class today. Another good thing about doing a me map is it helps us to think about the people around us, that there might be more to them than what we see on the outside too. You could also do a me map for a character you're imagining by listing some of the hobbies, habits, skills, or feelings of an imaginary character, you begin to see what they're really like. Once you know what they're like, Writing what they will do and say in your story becomes easy. I'm gonna to read to you about one of my favorite characters, Max McConk, and then we'll take a look at what Max's me map would look like. In the first book of the Fitting Out series, The Friendship Experiment, main character Max has just revealed that his best friend moved away and he realizes he doesn't know how to make new ones. He never had to before. School starts in just one month, and he's going to be totally alone if he doesn't figure this out. And fast. Plus, he feels like he's different from the other kids, and he's not sure that they're going to want to be friends with him anyway. We pick up in the story where Max is just about to tell us how different he really is. Chapter 2. Bio. Maximilian McConk. I'll start with the easy stuff. 
My full name is Maximilian Alexander McConk, and I am 9.85 years old. I have curly black hair, lots of curly black hair. I live in a blue house with my mom, dad, pop pop, and my older brother. What you must also know about me is that there are two hobbies that I love more than anything else. By coincidence, they are the same two things that drive my big brother absolutely crazy. Hee <laughs> hee. First, I read a lot. I have read so many books that I've lost count. You name it, I have read about it. This means that I probably have close to a million random facts stored in my head. But it doesn't stop there. I love to talk about all the facts I pick up, especially the weird ones, like basically anything related to water bears. Second, I love to find rhymes for words. I think this will make it much easier to live out my plan to become a chart-topping, album-dropping rap battle champion someday. Either that or a doctor. Anyway, when I have something really important to say, I figure it sounds better when I make it rhyme. Now that you know a little more about how I roll, I'm going to take it a step further and tell you everything. I have prepared the following official bio, short for biography, telling you all about what it means to be me. And it rhymes, of course. Official bio, Maximilian McConk. My name's Maximilian, but I go by Max. Ahead is a list of the maxiest facts. My bio contains all the things that are me. And while in this list you might possibly see one or two bits of you, you would have to agree that all these together are unique level three. In the standard international scale of uniqueness, level three is the highest. Not many people know that. Max facts. I wear Pop Pop's racing goggles instead of a hat. I've got a robot named Switches, a fish, and a cat. Astronomy club, now that is my jam. No one is more into stars than I am. I ride a sweet uni and know lots of tricks. I once built a yurt out of popsicle sticks. My favorite lunch is Dad's Booyah Base Stew. I know more about turtles than most people do. For example, I'll bet you didn't know that nesting female leatherback turtles make noises that sound like a human burp. Burp. I like to read about music and sing about books. My cape probably looks different than your cape looks. Wait, do you not have a cape? You should consider getting one. They provide both style and aerodynamics. I take banjo lessons each Friday at four. Most kids take guitar, but I like banjo more. I'm crazy bad at football and can't really dance. I once spent a whole weekend researching ants for fun. Check this out. Since they don't have ears, ants use special organs on their lower legs to detect vibrations in the ground as a way of hearing. After reading through this list, you're probably thinking, whew, that's a lot of different packed all into one guy. But this is the way I have always been. One in a million, unique, level three. So now let's take a look at the me map and what it would look like if Max filled it out. If we think about what Max told us in his bio, he told us about some of his outside things. He tells us something about what he looks like, what his treasures are, his pets and a robot. He tells us a little bit about his tastes. Max tells us about something he's good at. He even tells us a little bit about something he's not so good at. After all, that's part of what makes us who we are too, right? And he tells us a little bit about what he likes to do for fun. But these are all outside things. To figure out the next pieces of the me map, we'll need to take a look inside. While describing what he's like on the outside, Max gives us some clues to what's going on inside his brain. He lets us know that he's creative, intelligent, and resourceful. We can tell he's creative because he likes to make up rhymes. That's a very creative thing to do, and it's fun. We can tell he's intelligent because he told us he likes to read, learn new facts, and use those facts in his daily life. We can also tell that Max is resourceful. Resourceful means knowing what you need to use to complete a task or solve a problem and knowing where to find it. We know Max is resourceful because he finds his own way to solve the problem and find some new friends before school starts. We should also talk about what might be going on in Max's heart. 
Now, if you study the body, you know that the heart is really a muscle that pumps blood throughout your body. But in art and literature, sometimes we think of the heart as a symbol for where we keep our feelings. And when I talk about the heart, I'm using it in that way. If we follow the clues about what Max might be feeling, we discover that he's feeling worried, different, but hopeful. By what you heard, you've probably figured out that Max is worried about how he's gonna solve this problem. He told us himself about how different he might be from all of the other kids. But we know he's hopeful because instead of giving up, he's determined to find the right solution for him and go out and make new friends. Is there anything you notice about the difference between what's in Max's brain versus his heart? I'll give you a hint, it has to do with timing. The feelings in his heart are reactions to what's going on right now, but the tools, skills, and traits that we see in his brain are lasting. The things in Max's brain are things that he's probably been growing and building since he was little, and they might stay with him throughout his life. But if you get the chance to read the friendship experiment, you would see that the feelings in Max's heart would be quite different after he goes through his experiment. So that's it. The me map is now complete. Now it's your turn. You're the main character in the story of your life. You can map out your external and internal traits so that you and anyone you share your map with can see a collection of the things that make you, you. If you get the chance to share your me map with your classmates, it can be fun to look around and see who has the same outside things like hobbies or interests as you. Or maybe you find someone where everything on the outside is different but you've got the same things going on in your heart and your brain. That could be a really cool way to get to know someone a little bit better. And now you know everything there is to know about creating your own me map. You can create one about yourself, and then you could even try creating one for a character you've been imagining that you can't wait to write about. Thanks for watching. Bye. To find out more about the book we read today or to find more fun activities with Max and his friends, get a teacher or parent's permission and head to sarahgilesbooks.com.